क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ई क्रीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी प्रॉब्लम विच इज बेस्ड ऑन सिमसन वन थर्ड रूल लेट एस स्टार्ट विथ प्रॉब्लम नंबर वन Evaluate is zero to two e raised to minus x dx by using Simpson's one third rule. Given that the values of x are zero, half, one, three by two, and two, and for that the values of y or you can say the given function e raised to minus x, they are given from one to zero point one three five three. So the first step that we can do is write lower limit, upper limit, and try to find the value of h. the lower limit a is 0 upper limit b is 2 and to get the value of h you can subtract any two consecutive values of x so half minus 0 will give you half or you can say 1 minus half will also give you half after that we can use the formula of simpson's one third rule by simpson's one third rule we have integral a to b f of x dx that is h by 3 in bracket we have y0 plus y now what is y0 and y the first term is called as y0 one will be y0 the last term will be y n here in this case we have y1 y2 y3 and y4 so the last term y n will be nothing but y4 Plus four times. Here we write the even coordinates. So the numbers which are present on even position. If I say this is first position, second, third, fourth, and fifth, y1 plus y3 will represent the even position. If I say here we have five position, out of that y1 and y3 are representing the even position. So we have written y1 plus y3. Plus twice we have odd positions. Now what are odd positions? If I say one is a odd position. Then next 0.3676 is a odd position. Then again 0.1353 is a odd position. But whenever you write the odd terms, make sure that you don't write the first and the last term. So the remaining odd position will be nothing but y2 only. Here we are not going to consider y4. so we have substituted the value of y0 and y4 here we have only two even positions that is y1 and y3 and here we have only one odd position which is not at the first and last that is nothing but y2 now let us solve these two fractions now let us solve all the three brackets Therefore, we have one by six into one point one three five three plus three point three one eight zero plus zero point seven three five two. On adding these three terms, we have five point one eight eight five. After dividing by six, whose approximate answer will be zero point eight six four seven five. Therefore, the final answer will be integral zero to two e raised to minus x dx will be zero point eight six four seven five. I hope friends you have understood this problem thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikida and subscribe to ikida